Good morning. From Netflix to social media, stories fill our imagination and our time. Recently, I watched a few series on the great chef, Julia Childs, and it was wonderful to see the stories of her life being captured in a mini series, but it was even more exciting for me to see her famous recipes being made and people sharing their personal experiences of her. Stories are so much more than just entertainment or words. Instead, stories connect us to one another in a way that makes strangers into friends. I remember as a child asking, tell me a story. Stories help shape us, they connect us emotionally, and they connect facts with feelings. In our society, stories are a way to get to know one another and be known. Hopefully we are still telling stories around the dinner table. We're telling them on social media. Storytelling is a highly valued way of communication. In a very divided culture, we can use stories to create bridges for progress. Story Corps is a group and they have this new project. It's called One Small Step. And what they do is they bring people together who are very different in their political views, but they have other things in common. And then they record this 50 minute conversation and the people are to talk about their lives, not their politics, but to just share with one another. And to, to, to date, they have done this with 2000 people in 40 cities. And they believe that in these conversations of realizing that people who are very different from you in political arenas can have ways to connect and engage with one another that is meaningful. Today, we're going to consider how we can be storytellers of our faith. Will you join me in prayer, please? Amazing God, I just call upon you to be with us and be with me as I speak about sharing the greatest story ever told. Amen. We can all relate to the excitement of a good story. It might happen as we're chatting uh, with friends and relatives, or maybe it's about watching a movie. But stories, whatever they might be, they shape our perspectives and they give us a sense of importance and belonging. You know, often we don't realize the impact of stories on our life and how they shape the ideas and the thoughts that we have, but they do have a significant impact. We are wired as storytellers. And if we look at the foundations of our faith, the Bible, what are the pieces that we best connect with? You know, it's the stories. The Bible starts with, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And then it closes with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with God's people. Amen. And all the 1,189 chapters in between those two sentences are stories. And they draw us in and they inspire us and they convict us and they direct and move us. Jesus in his ministry used to tell stories or we call them now parables to share his teachings. And we know of Jesus life and ministry because of the storytellers that recorded the gospels. The good news is that we are able to connect to the greatest story ever told because of these stories that were written down for us. After Jesus leaves the earth, it was his followers that took up the role of being the storytellers. 
And in today's passage, we find Philip and he's connecting um, with an encounter with a high court official of the royal household of the queen of Ethiopia. Now, Philip overhears him struggling with the reading of an Old Testament passage and engages the man in conversation. He shares about his experiences with Jesus, which leads him to baptizing this man. Philip takes a risk. He jumps into a conversation with someone who is a stranger and he knows is not a believer, but there is an opening and he takes it. But it doesn't, he doesn't preach to him. This isn't church. But instead, he simply tells this man about how Jesus changed his life. And he lets God do the rest. No matter who you are or what your story is, you are invited to participate in the adventure. God is rescuing the world and you are worthy to be a part of that great story. And the way that you do that is through your witness. And I want you to get comfortable with going out and sharing a story of faith. Each of us is on a faith journey with experiences of how we have each been uniquely touched by God's grace through the power of the Holy Spirit. We all have a story to tell, but too often we are too shy or fearful to share it. I know the word witness kind of gets us all anxious and jammed up. And when we say witness, it actually might be intimidating might feel like you need to have some kind of special knowledge or there is some expectation beyond our means. But what the word just means is to share a story. Witness is simply sharing your life, your passions, your dreams, your hopes that God planted in you so that you could share with others. You don't need to sound like a pastor. You don't need to sound like me. Actually, the most effective person that you should sound like is you. Witness is simply sharing who you are. Your witness is the only way that the world will know who Jesus is. So here's a few first steps on how to share how God is working in your life. The first is small groups. Small groups are especially powerful situations to encourage one another in their faith journeys. And it's a place to share your personal witness. It's a place to allow the stories to come out and that everyone is having an opportunity to connect and, and add their piece to it. So I invite you to get together in small groups. And it's wonderful to have kind of official church small groups. So some of the best small groups are just a couple people getting together, going down and having a slice of pizza and having some conversation together. Going on a drive or going for a walk is a great way to have a small group conversation. Another way that you can share your faith through witness is through mission work. It's through um, sharing through others. When we write those cards for Climber Village or if we are writing cards to the veterans or for to people who are in our community, writing a note and just sharing a little bit about um, how God is working um, in your life or how you are being moved to pray for that person is a way to inspire someone else in faith. Another way is to uh, when you go out and you serve to make sure that you connect with others and as you're doing the work together, share your story of faith. Each one of us here has a story to share. For some who might be new to faith or possibly others that are renewing your faith, this is an exciting time 
where those stories are being shaped and formed. And they are the stories that need to be told. So no one is too new to faith to share their witness. And no one has been in their faith journey too long to share their witness. You know, there is someone out there, maybe someone who is in this room today, that needs to hear your story. I want you to imagine a church where everyone's story is important and everyone is participating in this great gospel story. I hope that you take the time now in the next few minutes as uh, a story uh, of faith is going to be shared with you to listen and then be inspired to go out and share your story. May you be blessed by God. Have a great week. Amen.